The recent controversy surrounding cancer screenings can be very confusing and sorting it all out and helping you understand uh, what the information means to make the best decisions for your health care is really important to us. Evidence supports that um, the majority of our early cancer detection and screening techniques can and do save lives. Screening should still be considered an important part of your health care routine. Deciding whether or not to participate in a cancer screening program is really a personal health decision and should be based on a discussion between you and your physician. The National Comprehensive Cancer Network and the American Cancer Society currently have recommendations for screening for breast cancer, colorectal cancer, and cervical cancer. The screening recommendations for breast cancer include a clinical breast exam every one to three years and self-breast awareness for women up to age 40. For women over the age of 40, they should be getting a clinical breast exam every year, a mammogram every year, and also exhibiting self-breast awareness. That means um, knowing what your breasts feel like consistently. Mammograms are effective, they do work, and women should continue to get them. Current recommendations for colorectal cancer screening include colonoscopy every 10 years for those after the age of 50. There are some other options that you could ask your doctor about and that includes barium enema, flexible sigmoidoscopy, or virtual colonoscopy. Current recommendations for cervical cancer screening include an annual pap test to be done at least three years after the first vaginal intercourse, but no later than age 21. Some doctor's offices also offer what's called a liquid pap. If your doctor's office does offer a liquid pap, that can be done every one to two years. For those that have an increased risk for developing cancer, whether it's because of a personal history or a family history of cancer, maybe follow closer. Those people should really be talking to their doctors to find out what tests are right for them. Prostate cancer screening and the who, how, and when of testing is still being debated by the medical community. Prostate cancer is a very complex disease. And the bottom line is, men really need to be having a discussion with their physician about whether testing is right for them. One of the best things you can do is to educate yourself about cancer risks and symptoms and learn more about what the benefit and risks are of early detection and treatment for cancer. Helpful information can be found by visiting mcancer.org slash screening. Cancer is a very complex disease, and cancer screening is not a one-size-fits-all situation. So talk to your doctor. What's right for you depends on many factors. Together, you and your doctor can make the best decision.